We have a 99 Lincoln Town Car that uh, is right now cold, and we're going to start it up. You can see that the pressures are equalized around 70 PSI uh, at 70 degrees, so you know your static pressures before you start the car um, looks typical. So right there, the, the vehicle started, and the AC is kicked on, and immediately what you're going to notice is that um, as the system uh, stabilizes just a little bit, that immediately um, on a cold day, you'd expect an orifice tube system. This is an orifice tube system to start to cycle off and on a little bit, and it's not. Um, that, that the low side pressure is um, on the on the high side of normal, and the high side pressure is a little bit low. And, and as the vehicle warms up, it, that's going to be more uh, evident. This is uh, Professor Scott Norman from the Department of Automotive Technology at Pittsburgh State University. And this is another micro lesson on uh, AC gauge analysis. So I use these videos, uh, I play them in the classroom uh, to kind of uh, help the students uh, look at gauge readings and analyze gauge readings uh, before they have to go out and actually do it on a vehicle. Uh, and so uh, if you want to try this approach uh, in your classroom, uh, you may want to turn off the audio so you don't have to listen to my voice and so you don't give away uh, uh, what the problem is before all the students have been able to um, look at the gauges and actually analyze um, what's happening here in the system. So right now the system is, is on and, and again, um, uh, right now, the low side is actually in the normal range of 20 to 40. Um, the high side is really low, um, even for a, a cold startup, it, it's really a little bit low. Uh, but as you let this car warm warm up, it, the, these gauge readings are not going to get any better. Uh, on a cold engine, uh, the vehicle is actually blowing uh, cold air just fine, but as the engine warms up, uh, it, uh, it stops blowing cold air um, on this. And so um, what I just did there is I, I turned off the AC system. And, and then what we're doing is that we're watching to see how fast the system equalizes. And if you look at it, it actually equalized um, a little bit over 50 PSI uh, pretty quick. An orifice tube system should equalize uh, typically like 30 seconds to a minute. And you should hear a hissing sound out of the orifice tube when you turn the car off. And, uh, and that's not happening on this particular system. So right now, um, the, the AC is on again. And again, we're gonna turn it off a couple times on this video. And so what I would like you to do is count how many seconds it takes from you turning the AC off until it's equalized. And, 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 and it's gonna be under, under 30 seconds. Uh, the other thing that's odd about this video or odd about this vehicle is that when they do equalize, uh, they're only equalizing at around 50 PSI. So there's actually two problems with this car. Number one is that it's um, uh, there is no orifice tube in the system whatsoever. Uh, the students just forgot to put it in when they did a compressor. I know, it's kind of funny. Uh, but the second thing on this vehicle is that it's actually undercharged. So there's two, there's actually two conditions with it. So, so when you have uh, no restriction in the system, uh, the gauge readings kind of act like a, uh, like a, like a bad uh, compressor. Um, uh, the low side is going to be reading uh, uh, higher than normal, and, and the high side is going to be reading lower than normal. And again, and, and, and the key factor as far as you knowing that this is a problem is that uh, the equalization uh, between high side and low side is happening way too fast, and you're not really getting any hissing sounds when you turn the engine off uh, when the system is equalizing.